Hello everybody, thank you so much for visiting uh, Riders United YouTube channel and in today's episode I would like to show you how you can save some money on installation of this uh, chin spoiler for a uh, touring model of Harley Davidson. I will be installing this item on the 2022 Road King Special and you will have to buy a few extra things in order to install this properly so please uh, let me show you how to do it. Here we go. So we all like to save some money and I have to say I was really looking at the, this uh, chin spoiler from Harley Davidson website and it was a really expensive item. I was able to actually buy original one and uh, later on I return it and I compare it to this uh, aftermarket product that I purchased from Amazon for about the uh, hundred bucks. And original one from Harley Davidson was uh, over 300 bucks, close to almost $400. So it was really expensive item and I can tell you that the quality of this product even though this one is aftermarket from, from China is really good. But as always uh, there is always a drawback for uh, such a deals from Amazon and what you will get when you purchase this uh, chin spoiler you will get the chin spoiler only. So when I purchased original spoiler from Harley Davidson I noticed that you will also need this uh, bracket that you will have to install on your frame in order for this uh, chin spoiler to be correctly mounted and I noticed that original one from Harley have some foam inserts in here in order to prevent uh, the damage to the frame so as you can see this item will go in here and on the opposite side will be the motorcycle frame so this is uh, how you will install this but yeah, you will only receive this, uh, this piece of plastic from, from Amazon after your purchase. So I thought that it would be really good to just uh, share my experience with everybody because beside the fact that you will have to spend additional five bucks to get this uh, extra bracket, this is a pretty good deal. So let me show you how I'm gonna uh, go with this install and hopefully everything will be, will be really nice at the end. So yeah, let me just uh, take you through the process and we'll install this together. So the manufacturer of this product, after they sell it to you, they don't, in, they don't uh, provide this uh, bracket, this grommet, that will actually have to go in here and connect this spoiler to your frame. So yes, you will have to buy this product and uh, I have the part number for you. So it's 12100162. So maybe I will show that in here. So this is a grommet chin spoiler and yeah that was the uh, four bucks and 30 cents. So pretty good deal. And also what I noticed when I have original spoiler that they were like two foam pads on both sides in order to prevent any scratches on your frame. So this is the reason why I'm gonna use this uh, foam with like a sticky backing and I just uh, use regular one that you can buy in Home Depot for uh, protection uh, against the draft for your door. So what I will do, I will just uh, cut this piece just to get the sticky part a little bit uh, more sticky in here because the other one was like uh, kind of pulling off. I'm gonna cut piece probably like this or actually two pieces. and I will just install them in here in really similar place that the original have it installed in there. So that will be the first one and I will take another one in here and I will remove this so this is not sticky on this side and I will install it in here. So this way we have really similar protection that you will have as original spoiler. So in order to install the new chin spoiler you will have to remove this old cover so you will see like there is like two different mounting holes and this is a piece of rubber so sometimes you can pull this out so you will just gently pry this old cover and the new one 
will have this installation points sticking out. So it's like super easy to just pop this out. I would suggest you just push from the bottom. So the first step will be installation of this grommet. And as you can see, the shape kind of dictates how this will go through. And this part will go to the back. So basically you will have to push it in here like this and make sure that this go through. So I lubricated this part with uh, Windex. I'm gonna start with Windex so I don't have anything like sticky. And let's see if this will go through. And yeah, it requires extra force in here. So let me try that. But yeah, here we go, actually pretty easy. So yeah, I would suggest that you will use the Windex because it's nice and clean and you don't have anything really greasy after that. So let me get a little bit more perspective. So those are our mounting points on the bottom. This is the one on top. So you can see like those uh, two pieces are sticking out and this one will go to the stop one. So it looks like the installation might be actually easier with your wheel turned all the way to the right because you will be able to see where is your uh, clutch line and make sure that everything nicely fit. So you will have to make sure that this is like properly aligned. So yeah, I'm gonna give a little extra Windex in here one more time. And I will try to align it from the bottom. So yeah, that feels like it's already in. And right now, I run the clutch line inside. Wow, so this was actually super easy. Let me make sure that I'm correctly fitted in here. But yeah, it looks like everything's good. So wow, that was really easy installation. And yeah, that looks pretty neat, I think, especially for all this uh, money that I didn't spend on this. So yeah, it's 100 bucks. I will put the link in the description. I really like it. I think it was worth it. Good deal on this one. So here is a few extra shots. So you can kind of see this thing. I think it looks pretty awesome. For this kind of money, I think that I'm really happy with this. I will actually recommend this aftermarket upgrade. So here is the left side. So you can kind of see, yeah, pretty good. So I really hope that uh, you enjoyed this episode. And I'm wondering, uh, what do you think about this upgrade? I mean, obviously we can uh, save some money and uh, you probably seen uh, recently one of my videos when I was comparing aftermarket uh, rack for my bike with the, with the OEM. And in this case, it was a completely opposite situation. The rack was not the best quality, but this uh, chin spoiler from this uh, Amazon seller is actually pretty good quality. The only downfall of this uh, purchase is the fact that you will have some missing parts. So I would like to invite you to put some comments below and I'm always uh, curious about your experience and what do you think about the deal like that. And uh, you can always uh, find me on the Facebook group called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. This is the place where you can ask me the questions uh, directly related to this or any other videos that I have on my YouTube channel. I'm also on the TikTok and Twitter, so you can always find me on this uh, social media. And uh, please uh, check uh, one of my uh, other videos on my channel. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please uh, like and subscribe. You have the subscription icon on the right corner of your screen. And uh, as always, uh, I'm curious if uh, maybe there is something else that you would like to see on my channel. So please uh, feel free to check uh, some of the other videos that I have. I have uh, over 150 videos uh, on my YouTube channel right now. And as always, I would like to say thank you so much for your attention and being here with me. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye bye.